Hey, I'm Rex Orange County. Thank you for watching Music News. Alex O'Connor, aka Rex Orange County. It's great to see you. Feeling good today? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Good to see you too. Thanks a lot. You're here at the famous Maid of Elle Studios uh, for the BBC Sound of 2018 Live. You're looking forward to playing tonight? Yeah, it'll be really good. It'll be nice to uh, to be here. I like the studio a lot. It'll be fun. Yeah, it's yeah. a great place. Huh. Uh, you're runner-up in the BBC Sound of 2018 poll. Has it all uh, sunk in yet? Yeah, no, I, I think so. It's, it, it, you know, I kind of I knew it was going on for a while, and um, you know, I was I was hopeful or whatever. But it was great to be involved, anyways. Was, you know, regardless of what position I came, it was I'm super happy with it. Yeah, absolutely. Have you, have you felt the the eyes of the world focusing a little bit more on you since then? Maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit. It feels it definitely feels like there's you know a, an extra layer of. Um, material of mine out there now and people can see more of me which is nice it's good yeah 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 definitely looking forward to seeing anyone else tonight yeah i'm looking forward to seeing secret i'm looking forward to seeing notes as well big fan of both secrets music is great i like uh, the song strangers things fire yeah Great stuff but she said she was looking forward to seeing you as well oh really so yeah that's crazy yeah we <laughs> will uh yeah yeah nice uh how did you um how do you settle on the name um it's kind of a some form of like kind of like a rendition of my own name it's like the oc thing is my initials of my last name o'connor and it kind of somehow translated when i was at school to being called the oc at certain times which is of course the name of the oc uh soap opera from orange county and i'm also i have some kind of attraction to that place anyway like a lot of people do just like california is quite um appealing yeah, it, yeah. you know what even if it's just in your name as your artist or whatever it's yeah, it kind of it made sense, and I wanted to use those words in something, and it came at the right time, I guess. Great. Originally a drummer, what made you decide to move front of stage? Um, I, I don't know. I, I kind of I did sing a lot before, whilst you know, whilst learning drums and playing drums, but I did prioritize drums. Um, I guess just like being at school where you could alternate what instruments you were playing and stuff was like kind of the first opportunity I got to sing in front of a crowd with a band and like at first it was just my pupils but yeah I kind of I had sung before and I was happy to do it just like right time right place and I just felt I had more to give than just like holding some drumsticks yeah yeah I mean the new single Loving is easy it's a great uh, sound superb great video too how Thank did you that come much. about um I just had the idea to to do that kind of thing I actually initially wanted that exact video to happen but in real life and then I've kind of had you know, realizations that videos are actually mad expensive, and uh, <laughs> to do to actually even just like get a room with two people and get some cameras and makes that thing happen would just be actually weirdly a whole lot more uh, less convenient than to just do it with uh, plasticine like that size. And um, yeah, but that looks like more work to me. It looks like more work, I'm sure. But they, the people who did it, it's a guy called Chris Ulans, and his work is there all fantastic. They did it in like five days. Five or six days. Uh, still, still a long time. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. But it, you know, it felt like there was less, there was less planning, and they could kind of get on with it. And I just trusted his art direction when I gave him the color palette and the ideas and whatnot. He just kind of went with it and kept in touch, and it worked out as probably the easiest thing to do, to be honest. Yeah, no, it totally works perfectly for the bit for the song as well. And uh, I mean, you released second album, Apricot Princess, in um, in April. Mm -hmm. How would you sort of sum it up for somebody that hasn't heard it yet? Um, it, it, were, it is kind of just like a very um, rounded summary of how I felt when meeting someone who I was really uh, in love with for the first time and like truly being together and like receiving love back for the first time and uh, just like having the tools to make an album more than I did in the first place, which is the first place I would just like make it on my album and super DIY and then having the tools plus, you know, mixed with the whole emotion thing going on, it kind of just like, it's just a, a me putting my heart on my sleeve and explaining how I felt at that point. And I still feel like that, but that's like the last thing I put out, so. Yeah, yeah, have you started work on, on a follow-up? Yeah, no, I have. It's kind of coming at a different rate in a different way, but it's, it's exciting, it's good. I'm kind of having to learn a lot about myself and how it's not always really easy to just write a song and, and uh, figuring out what I'm actually trying to say as well. Was a lot of the time, um, 
But no, I am, yeah, I'm just working towards what's next. I mean, you're still very young, and you know, two albums under your belt, working on another one. How old are you? Are you still 19? I'm 19, yeah. Yeah. And so, I mean, songs obviously come to you at a sort of fast pace, is it? Well, they have done, yeah. I've been, I feel like I've, you know, a mix of being quite lucky, but also, um, for various reasons, was able to just be self-assured and like knowing that that's exactly what I wanted to say at that point, so I could kind of just go with it and whatever I wrote would be what was coming out and there wasn't much like, there wasn't much to look over and, and trim because I didn't know what I would need to trim. I was kind of just like happy with that as everything I'd written would just be the album that would come out and that kind of happened for the first two. There wasn't really many loose ones and the loose ones that I did do came out as singles and were fine by themselves. So yeah, it, it's not like I've just like have like, I'm not like Drake, like just like making albums every day, but I did happened to over like a year and a bit put out quite a few songs yeah but you must have a clear vision of what you want to achieve then yeah sure I'd, I'd like to think so um definitely um someone to think a lot about it before it actually happens and think about the concept or why i'm even saying it or just like you know why i would make that for myself not for like what i'm thinking of other people's opinions but just like i would say i do have a clear vision you are right yeah <laughs> and who do you look up to in music um, I look up to Tyler the Creator, I look up to Frank Ocean, I look up to Kanye West, I look up to uh, um, I look up to Pharrell, I look up to a lot of people that have music that sounds a certain way and they're very sure of that and therefore you either like the listeners either going to love it or they're not going to like it at all and it's like that's that's the the line and those kind of artists that have a certain type of sound that you know as soon as you hear it are the best artists in my opinion because even if you're like i hate pharrell he's he always uses those sounds he sounds like that it's like he's that's the best thing ever because he's he knows that's right and that's exactly what he does and that's like i don't know he's just super versatile and people that are just versatile and productive and come out with stuff that no one else has done just like i don't know a lot more people than just those like four but a, a lot of uh, those kind of artists yeah i mean it sounds like you don't have much spare time but if you do what do you uh, what do you like doing away from music i do actually have a lot of spare time man but uh in in that time i uh um try and do what what i what people do i do i do do what i always did before putting out the music i just like hanging out and making food at home or going out to eat or going go-karting or going to the cinema, just like, I don't know. Signature dish? Uh, it's like, uh, just like pasta, like nothing on it. Just, or not, no, I would have something, I would probably just like some uh, oil, olive oil maybe. I don't know, I mean, that was not a great, Oh, no, sorry, no, but, yeah. I'm Italian, that's almost the perfect pasta. Okay, great, yeah. For, for a food lover. Sweet. Um, I mean, past winners, past runners up of, uh, of um, BBC Sound of have included Rag and Bone Man, James Bay, White Lies. Mm -hmm. Is that sort of daunting? And, you know, what are your musical aspirations? You know what? I think it's, it's definitely not daunting. I think to be, to be, you know, people to think that it's, that me or anyone else in this category is going to do well is like a blessing. But I think, you know, providing the artist or myself is, um, you know, sure of what they want to do, then you can't really worry. You just kind of go with it and write the songs and make it happen and decide what it is that people are going to like and not worry about how people are going to react to it and just hopefully make it the best it's going to be. Um, I don't know if that really answers the question, but it's not too daunting. I think it's nice that people were now watching and I can like hopefully more people are just going to see what I put out yeah um, absolutely so. I mean you're over over in the US very soon very soon are you getting good feedback over there yeah no it's been good it's been um kind of like almost level playing field with London at least or over here it's nice to have that all the way over there massive you know massively because of Tyler the creator and yeah, yeah. The, the work I did with him so it's kind of like it's ideal that that happened, but it's nice that it's stuck, that it's not just like, you know, people actually ended up listening to my songs and then liking me over there, which is it's cool. Excellent. Well, thanks a lot for your time. It's been a pleasure. Well, for somebody for that's still to check you out, what would you, what couple of songs would you say, check these out online and sort of sum me up as an artist? Um, probably, probably Loving Is Easy, featuring Benny Sings, and 
uh, Apricot Princess, the song, or Apricot Princess, the album, most likely, but this, the first song is, is a pretty good representation, I'd say. Fantastic. Well, thanks a lot for your time. Anything else like to uh, music news viewers out there? Uh, carry on watching. Thanks for having me. Uh, we're in Made of Vale. I'm going to leave now. <laughs> thanks a lot, thanks man. A lot. Nice Cheers. one. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs>